And what are we up to today? After the whole adventure with that Holly four barrel carburetor, we are going to be putting it back onto the 69 Imperial. And we're going to see what's going to happen with this. We have some new gaskets and things. Of course, we're going to use that thick insulated gasket, but we have a couple to put onto the base as well, too. To, so we don't have a new, we do not have a new um, thick spacer. So we're going to obviously use some small ones to help to take up some slack over here. Follow the pattern, try to put it on the way it came off, which uh, you'll see will go like that. You can see the pattern of this fits on like this over here. So we want to make sure that this goes on like that so you can follow set patterns underneath things. Sorry about the glare people, it's just the way the camera's picking up the light, but you can see that'll have to go on like that. So that way we can have things just set back onto our regular patterns. So we're going to put on one of our base gaskets, of course, angle it the proper way. And then we'll make our sandwich with this piece over here. And then from there we shall put this piece on top. Looks pretty inviting. Now I'll just have my faithful assistant just gently lift the carburetor back on. And we will start it with one of the bolts in a second. Just to just get nice and politely on there. Excellent. Couldn't have asked for really much better. So now I'll start with some bolts over here. Okay, we'll get one aligned first at least. Just let things fit themselves in gently, smoothly. Gotta let them feel their way in. There we go, there's one. Two. And just let them just let things feel their way in. Yeah, glare. Just the angle will be around to the other side in a second, we'll get rid of that nasty glare. It doesn't take too long to put one of these things on. Now we gotta take that other one that we plugged up the fuel line with. And temporarily, we're just going to run a gas line from the fuel pump to a can of gas. So that we'll be able to pump fresh gas into this beastie over here. So that we don't run into any problems with dirty gas getting into because we will be servicing the fuel tank on this thing like I was mentioning in that really long, long, long movie. Hey, we'll be back in a few minutes. Just going to get it tightened up and get our, our choke hooked up and our little pieces hooked up. And we will take it from there, people. We shall see you soon. Hopefully, we're going to hear this monster roar of life in a few seconds. Bye-bye. Well, we got the carburetors all hooked up. I'm going to prime it with a little bit of fuel down into the bowl over here to the vent. We managed to get the lines loosened up on the old master cylinder, which is great. So the original lines, they turn nicely. We're going to get that changed in a few minutes. And what we're doing right now is we're draining through the fuel line of the vehicle. We are draining the old gas out of the tank. It doesn't look too bad, so we did flush it out quite a bit, but we just really, really want to be sure, obviously that nothing is going to happen, that we're not going to get any dirty fuel getting into the car, but it's not too bad looking. I mean, it's fresh enough now to make sure that we have it, that we'll be able to burn it off in cars that don't have a fuel injection on them. You mix in a gallon every now and then, but that'll help. Everything's hooked up. We'll be ready for the startup in a few minutes, we hope. See what's going to happen. Take care. Bench Bye. bleeding a massive cylinder. Well, not quite bench bleeding it, but bench bleeding it on the car. We've already got the system for the um, disc brakes in the front blood. Now we're just going to get the rest of the air out for the rear system. So, kind assistant, if you wouldn't mind stepping on the pedal slowly. Is it to the floor? Okay. Release, please. So what we're doing is we're drawing back to the compensating and fill port brake fluid back into the um, unit so that we can get all the air out of it. You want to do that because otherwise it'll just suck air right back into this hole if, you're in, if you just keep it open to atmosphere. Push again please slowly. Okay, release. Push a little bit quicker please. Okay, release. Push down again, please. Release. Push down again. Release. 
Okay, now we'll just check our fluid. Just hold it down, please. Okay, we're still fine there. Okay, push it down there again, please. Release. Push down a little bit quicker. Okay, release. Push down again. Release. Push down. Okay. Release. Push down one more time and hold. Okay, release. Now we're going to screw this back on with our assistant ever so slightly pushing down the brakes when I tell him. That way we know that we get all the air out of that bit of the line as well too. Okay, start pushing down slowly on the brakes. There we go. That way we'll have all that crap and air out of there. And I'll just uh, tell him to hold it and then we'll tighten it up with the wrench after. So we have it started. And we will be back in a few minutes, okay? We'll see you soon. What in blue blazes are we up to now? We're shaking the daylights out of the Imperial because we have some acetone poured into the gas tank. We're going to try to just get whatever's left in the bottom of this tank out and clean them and blow it out with compressed air. And hopefully that's going to end our problems for the time being. There we go. Radial tires do come in handy for something. Cars are rocking. Oh, that should be good enough for now. Don't come a knocking. That's right, don't come a knocking. Well, we got out a lot of that junk from the tank. We drained it out. We have two full cans of this junk. Didn't look too bad because we did have some fresh gas in there, but hopefully that's going to solve our problems with our dirty gas and everything. We can get this monster running very shortly. And now with the rag on the, the end of this air hose, we're going to pressurize the tank and force out that acetone that we put into the tank out the fuel line, and we should be okay to go. Away we go. That's what we got out of the tank over here. So far with the acetone, absolutely amazing. Yeah, we saved that from getting into the carburetor and stuff. How do you like them out? And there we are, flushing out more crud and dirt from the fuel system. What a mess, and boy does it ever stink. We may have to move the car around or jack it up the other way. We'll see. We'll see what'll happen, but we are getting stuff out of there. Okay, whenever you're ready, let's see how our start's gonna go here. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. We have no choke on the car, unfortunately. Now we gotta get some gas pumped up into the carburetor. And, but we got our first start over here. Well, she's idling on her own. You even have to reprime her. There's no choke right now, but we have to get a choke. Okay, we'll start her up again. Well, she runs. We're gonna have to do some adjustments there, but it looks like she starts and she runs. Yay! 